Yeah. Oh boy. That one's okay. So when tomato season comes, it's all hands on deck. And tomatoes are actually pretty easy to preserve, but they can be a little bit time consuming. And tomato sauce takes up a lot of room in your pantry. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you a really cool way that you can preserve your tomatoes and all the nutrients without a ton of space or heating up your kitchen. Okay. So for years, Canning tomato sauce has been my go-to way to preserve all of my garden tomatoes, and I still am gonna do that quite a bit, but uh, it takes up a lot of room, it's a lot of work. So I recently did a podcast interview on my old-fashioned on-purpose podcast with Darcy from The Purposeful Pantry, and she told me about making powders, where basically you dehydrate your fruits or vegetables, turn them into a powder and use those in all sorts of different ways, and I have been obsessed with the idea ever since. So I've been making mushroom powder, and pepper powder. And now we're on to tomato powder. And the really cool thing about this is that you can take a whole bunch of tomatoes, condense them down into a very concentrated powder and use it for all sorts of things. You can turn it into paste or sauce or add it to soups or stews or skillet meals. So you're gonna love this trick I'm gonna show you today. Okay, so I have a assortment of my garden tomatoes here. I have some cherry tomatoes and some bigger ones. Um, a paste style of tomato like a Roma or a San Marzano would be great for this or you could just use whatever you have at your farmer's market or your garden or the grocery store. So I'm gonna wash a few of these guys. Whoops. There we go. And then I will just slice them. Um, doesn't have to be perfect, but we do want, you know, fairly uniform pieces so they all dry at about the same rate. And you don't have some that are super brittle and some that are still squishy. And I'm gonna put these on my dehydrator trays. And you could also do this in an oven if you don't have a dehydrator machine. It's just gonna be a little bit different. It might take a little bit longer. Um, just want to make sure your oven temperature is as low as it can go. Another thing you can do is to take the skins of tomatoes and dehydrate those into powder. So if you uh, peel your tomatoes by blanching or hot water or whatever before you can them, you don't have to throw the skins away. You can turn it into another useful item. I don't do well with tedious food preservation, so anything that doesn't require a bunch of peeling, skinning, seeding, or a bunch of crazy detailed chopping, those are always my favorite methods. Yeah, that one is a store tomato. I bought that before my garden ones were ready, and you can sure see a difference. I usually like to grow mostly paste style tomatoes like of San Marzano or Amish paste are my favorite um, just because I do so much sauce making it just is more efficient than getting the big slicers but really you can make sauce or powder or paste out of almost any tomato variety even random cherry tomatoes or any sort of heirloom um, doesn't have to be super specific. Okay now it's time to go to the dehydrator. Put those in. Okay, and then we're gonna go about 135 um, as far as, oops, I gotta figure out how to set it. Come on, buddy. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna dehydrate these at about 135 degrees Fahrenheit. But of course, I have some already done, YouTube magic. So thankfully, you won't have to wait eight hours <laughs> to see what the next step is. So I'll go ahead and turn this on, and I said eight hours. It's probably really gonna depend on how juicy your tomatoes are, how thick you slice them. Just watch them. You want them to be brittle. I get one off here. You want them to be to be brittle and a little leathery. We don't want them to have any sort of moisture left. That's really going to affect the powdering process. So that's what we're aiming for. Nice and crispy. So figuring out how to use this thing. Okay, stop. Okay, here we go. 
Oh, you may notice this is a different dehydrator than the Excalibur I usually use. I still have my Excalibur. It's a great machine, but I've been playing with this Sedona model from TriBest, and I really like it because it's less plasticky. I have the stainless steel trays, and it does a really good job. So at this point, if you wanted, you could just honestly leave the tomatoes like this. I do this sometimes. The kids actually really like these as snacks, and you can kind of use them as sun-dried tomatoes in different recipes, but Today is obviously all about the powders, so let's get that going. So to get this into powder form, you're going to need a blender of some sort. Um, you could also use like a little coffee grinder or uh, I think like a Nutribullet or a uh, Ninja type of blender. I think it's what it's called, the smaller one. Those work too. But we need to grind these up very finely. So I'm gonna toss them all in here. Okay, so I got all those off finally, and I have a few others that I dehydrated the other day and I've been saving them up. So I think I'm gonna do this in two different batches so I have enough room for all the tomatoes to do their thing. Okay, here we go. Okay tomato fumes. Woo, very tomato -y. Okay, so grab a spoon. All right, there it is. So you can see there's a few granules that are a little bit bigger. So you can either um, sift those out and blend them again or just kind of leave it in there and call it good. I'm just gonna leave it in there, save a step. I really think a high powered blender of some sort's gonna be better for this. I mean, I haven't tried this in a cheaper blender, but you know, sometimes those cheaper ones, stuff kind of gets stuck on the bottom. So uh, if you have a high powered blender, this is a great way to put it to use. So you don't know if you can see this, the color of this batch is a lot darker than the other one. So these were a different variety of tomato I had growing in the greenhouse. So just a little more of that red tone to them, but it shouldn't matter at all. I'm just gonna mix it all together. So this is several dehydrator loads worth of tomatoes into one little tiny pint jar. That's pretty cool. So there's a whole lot of ways you can use your new tomato powder, but the thing I am most excited to do with it is to make tomato paste because I never seem to have those little cans when I need them. And even when I do, I use a few tablespoons of the can and then it ends up getting moldy. And so this is gonna be a really good way to have tomato paste on demand. And here's how you're gonna do that. So just take your powder and you're gonna reconstitute it with water. So two parts powder to one part water. So in this little bowl, I have uh, two tablespoons of water and I'm going to add four tablespoons of my tomato powder. Try to do it without spilling. I mean, I don't care who you are, that's pretty cool. You could also do the same thing to make tomato sauce. You would just want your ratios to be one part tomato powder to six parts of water for a, light, a slightly more runny consistency. You could use this for pizza sauce or for marinara or really whatever you can imagine. So have fun with this technique. I am pretty geeked out over it. We've really been enjoying the mushroom powder on popcorn and I added this pepper powder to a sloppy joe mix the other day. It was super good, really flavorful. So the sky is the limit. And if you'd like some more tips on how to preserve tomatoes without a lot of fuss, check out this video for my fast freezer tip for putting up tomatoes for later.